a good starting point for an expert system to begin to implement UDL is to identify what change they really need to address. Most systems have some kind of outcome or vision or goal in mind and they implement UDL in a way to address that need or goal. It's really important for that to be a clear vision, something that they can measure and something that they can get motivated about. In the case of BCSE, their need was identified by their school leadership and they chose to use UDL as an overarching framework to address that need. I think there was a recognition early on that we knew that education had to change, mm -hmm. that we couldn't keep doing the things we were doing it's because we were getting, the results were not there. And um, again, the fact that we were, you know, most school systems, you know, do a pretty good job of sorting kids, and we knew we can't keep on doing that. When Bill became director of secondary education and Karen became director of elementary education, um, and I was in the position of director of special education, I think what we concluded pretty quickly was that our vision was was the same and that we really focused on all students. There is not that separation of, you know, he strictly thinks and advocates for special education, I strictly advocate for general population. Mm -hmm. We really think about and focus on all kids all the time. I think the three of us, Bill, Karen, and I, viewed sort of that silo approach as a barrier that was going to prevent us from being the, the top-notch district that we think we are. And so I think we sort of, if you will, kind of held hands and jumped in together to really do things different.